Tom Brady is back in the news. Not for playing ball, but for stealing money? We got to get into this Mitchell report right now. All right, guys, before we get into this video, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all know the vibe so y'all can be locked into the next Mitchell report. Now, CBS News came out with an article that I'm just reading, and I wanted to go ahead and share this with y'all. It looked like Tom Brady is in trouble dealing with some fraud issues and a case that might be blowing up. I don't really want to compare it to Brett Favre, but let me get into this story. So CBS News is reporting that former FTX trading CEO Sam Fry, the NFL quarterback Tom Brady, his former wife Giselle, and comedian Larry David, they are among a celebrity-studded list of people accused of defrauding investors who lost money in some type of cryptocurrency exchange. There was a proposed class action filed in federal court in Florida late Tuesday names these four along with other athletes and entertainers as defendants in this actual case. According to the attorney, he said it's very difficult to comprehend that just one company defrauded more than $11 billion from consumers, all from our backyard here in Miami. As part of this $20 million ad campaign, Tom Brady and Giselle back in 2021, they have filmed a commercial called FTX, you win? showing them telling acquaintances basically to join the FTX platform, according to this complaint that was filed in Miami on behalf of Oklahoma resident Edward Garrison and seeking to represent thousands, if not millions of consumers nationwide. Now the suit contends FTX deploys celebrities to tout the exchange and root them in some type of Ponzi scheme. Wow. Interesting story coming out from CBS News about Tom Brady and this the fraud case. What do I think about it? The case specifically, I don't care. I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is the Mitchell Report. Y'all know we keep it live and, and raw here. But it does go to show the position of power and the mental that some of these people with money think that they have that they can just get away with almost murder damn near. Like we see the Brett Favre situation. Like these guys think that they are so slick that they can take money and, and, and do certain things and won't be held accountable for it. And we're seeing it um, really at the highest form. You know what I'm saying? When we talk about prominent, legendary athletes and supermodels and there's other entertainers and athletes, they said this actually on this case. You know, I don't really want to pass judgment right now when it comes to this specifically in Tom Brady. I'm not going to try to say he was a thief or he had any knowledge of what was going on. But again, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. And we can only go by the history. And at the end of the day, I smell smoke. I got to talk to the bosses, though. But, you know, Tom Brady's going through a lot. They're in the middle of the season. He's he dealing with the situation with Giselle. And now they tied up in a lawsuit for defraud. I don't know how this is going to really play out. I don't know if this is, how, if this is going to really uh, affect him on the field. But I know one thing. If Tom Brady is out here stealing... Yeah, I've got to talk to the bosses because, we, you know, this is and I'm not going to say this is a new trend. Who knows how long Kat's been really doing this like these millionaires been, you know, taking money and, and defraud. You know, they've put so much focus on the lower level. They thought they could get away with murder. So we're going to see how this play out. But I did want to share this with y'all. This is the Mitchell Report. I'm Seven Mitchell. Like, comment and most importantly, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next Mitchell Report. What do you guys think? about this situation with Tom Brady and his wife or ex-wife, whatever you want to call it, being pretty much tied up in this um, defraud and investors uh, case that's going down in Miami, man. Let me know your thoughts. I'm Seven Mitchell, and I'm out. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.